they won the tip. Shouldn't we get the ball? We got it. We got it. Yeah, we got it. I think Rossi was over there just trying to steal okay. it as we're back here Rossi at Royal Sanderson. Yeah. So the Railers down 15-4. Very rough start to this one. Austin Kirby will fire off a three. Left it short. Rebound comes down to Swinford. Jeff, the Raiders have fallen in love with the three. They took 12 shots in the first quarter, nine of which were three. 0 for 9. Van Hook and Gesner set to check in for the Railers. Morton spaced out very nicely here. Bisping will try a jumper from the baseline. In and out, no good, but Lundin gets the rebound. They finally miss one. They get a rebound. Kick it back out to Hayden. His lefty three is up. That's no good. Track down Swinford. Tried to save it in, but it, it's the baseline. It'll go back to the Railers. All right. The Railers need to, uh, I don't know, we'll put Van Hook in there against that triangle and see what he can do inside. Well, you know, they've been firing up so many threes, you wonder if that play where you throw the alley-oop that looks like a three and at least get a basket. That would be correct. Gesner on top to Van Hook. Van Hook looks to drive, pulls up from 14. It's good. There you go. That's where the shots are. <laughs> Van Hook pulls the Railers to down 15-6, under seven to go in the first half. Got to find Bisping. Right now, he's the only one that's hurting you, but he's killing it. How many do you have in the first quarter, Jeff? Eight of their 15. Rossi over to Swinford in front of the Railer bench. Morton shoots five of six in the first quarter, Jeff. One of two from three-point line. So the Railers double the shots, but only make one. Seven offensive boards, two points. Yeah, they, the worked, they worked the ball well, and they got good shots. And we didn't guard this thing on the, on the baseline. We nope. can let a 6 eight kid get a lot of layups. And he's a good shooter from about 10 foot. Yep. And Underneath. Give it to him again. This thing. Tries to go up, oh. contested by Christian, gets it back, lays it up, missed it again, Van Hook over Lundin, no call, and uh, Railers caught a break there. Yep, Nelson coming down. <laughs> Railers trying to get a little bit closer, Coin, Van Hook against Bispink. Christian in the corner, gets it back out to Nathaniel, swings it over quickly to Gesner. Gesner looks at the three, doesn't take it, brings it around top of the key, back to Van Hook. Railers just need to be patient. When you're down, you need good shots, good possessions. <laughs> Gesner looks the hands off to Nelson. Now Nelson will move a little bit. Coin in the corner. Christian on the baseline, lays it up with the reverse. There you go. Yeah, yeah, we got to get it to the middle. we got to get it to the middle. And then Grant Coyne is an excellent passer to the baseline. Good job by Van Hook and not mo of, of moving. Good job of moving with, without the basketball and found a way for an easy layup. Sure did. 15-8. Railers have cut it to 7. 5.40 to go in the first half. Railers are a little bigger down, down on the baseline now with Van Hook and a little quicker. Rossi saves it inbounds to Lundin. Now in the corner, back out to Swinford. Yeah, you don't have to guard Rossi a whole lot. Didn't see him really shoot at all last night against Springfield. He traveled. So that's what you want. You just want to, because they're going to float Lundin at the free throw line. He's the danger. Skip it across to Rossi. 5.15 to go. Gesner comes out to check Swinford, who cuts through the lane. Swing it around to Swinford on the left side. Coin comes out, and there's Bisping on the baseline again. And a foul is going to be whistled, and Grant never touched him. Bisping was going to go up for a shot, and he flipped it to, to throw a pass, and the official on the baseline called a foul on Grant, and Coin has picked up his second. Tough call there. Yeah, a tough call. If, he wasn't, if it wasn't a shooting foul, how was it a foul at all? Because Bisping was going up to shoot. <laughs> oh, well. They get it to Bisping just inside the line. His jumper is up and good for three. Okay, so he wasn't in three. Bisping with 11, and it's an 18-8 advantage for Morton. There he also did Nathaniel. Nathaniel's 15-footer off the back of the rim. No good. Two Morton players track it down, and Morton with a chance to build on this 10-point lead at the 440 mark of the first half. Grant's got to be careful. He's got two fouls. Yeah, we don't need him with this third. This being uh, another three. Got yeah, the roll. Yeah. We got to guard him. <laughs> 21 to, no, they're going to say it's just a two. No, we'll take it, just a two. So 20 to eight. Coin top of the key. Brant's got to take that. He does and hits. Grant for three. That's another thing that'll yank him out of that triangle. But right now, the Raiders got to find a way to stop somebody. 20-11. Christian almost a steal. Swinford baseline. Lundin in. Respected oh. away by Christian. But it goes right back to Morton at halfway point of the second quarter. 20-11. Morton the lead. 
Christian sent a couple of messages in there, though. <laughs> that is, I don't care how big you are, I'll block your shot. Lundin in, and Brent, I think, just picked up his third uh, bad. <coughs> Got to play defense with your feet when you're in foul trouble. Well, any time, but particularly when you're in foul trouble. So now Brent, you know, is going to have to come out. 3.48 to go. And the Raiders go back to being small one by bringing it up. Lundin's first free throw, up and good. Kirby for, for uh, coin that gets a, makes the Raiders small here. Raiders also haven't had an opportunity because Morton hasn't missed to run the ball. No, we haven't gotten anything on transition, and, I, and we thought that would be a key tonight is to uh, speed up Morton. And really, we haven't sped him up um, when they've been playing offense either. They've really been picking us apart. The Raiders only have one on defensive rebound. Morton hasn't missed. Missed the free throw, so 21-11, 340 to go. Nathaniel. Whips it back out to Nelson. Over to Gesner. Gesner will fire off a three. That one's good. We've got to have Jordan tonight. We don't need him often, but we need him tonight. 21-14. Railers have cut it to seven. Lundin down the lane. Tried to kick the Bisping. Lost it. Bad pass. So gets it back to the Railers. Railers have done an or Morton's done a nice job breaking the Railer press. 18 turnovers in the first game. They have four tonight. So Gesner will handle the duties, bring it in into the front court at the 3.15 mark of the first half. It's Morton 21, Lincoln 14. Christian's going to go down, bounce it over to Austin. Austin flips it over to Gesner. Shoot Wait. it, Jordan. Back on <laughs> top to Kirby. Over to Gesner. Gesner will fire off another three. Off the back of the rim, no good. Nathaniel tracks down the rebound. Nathaniel back out to Gesner, to Kirby. Austin thought about the three, didn't take it. Gesner will drive in top of the key. Flips back to Kirby. Gesner goes down. Austin. To Look. Christian Van Hook. Christian will pull up jumper, back, back rim. Gesner the rebound. Railers are out of the offensive board. Nelson fires a three, left it short. Christian tried to get the offensive board, but it's tipped away and Swinford tracks it down for Morton. Boy, Railers, nine offensive rebounds and only two points. What? Come on. Christian, throw your shoe off, man. Oh. Rossi. This thing goes baseline, reverse layup is no good. Rebound by Hayden, lays it up and in. Hayden uh, hurt Springfield as well off the offensive boards. 23-14 to 10 to go first half. Gesner. Back to Christian. Kirby on the baseline, little 12-footer. Nope. Spins out no good. Kirby, or Van Hook the rebound. Flips it out to Smith, to Kirby. Austin's going to drive in. Christian. Corner three out of the way, back rim, and it's stuck. Boy, back the Railers are taking too many fast shots, Jeff. When you got to come from behind, you've got to have possessions of batter. Alternating possession with the ball stuck between the rim and the backboard, so uh, I'll give it back to Morton on the held ball. Railers with 10 offensive rebounds and two points. <laughs> yeah, we, we're just not, we're just taking, so, the shots are so quick. We, it look like we're in a hurry, and uh, there's no reason to be in a hurry right now. We're taking, if we get it wide open, we're taking it. And uh, Morton really had a shot there as Rossi's pass for a wide open Bisping. He got lost behind the Railer defense and had an easy two. They just didn't connect on the pass. I thought maybe he's just mad at that cheerleader who tried. He tried to decapitate. <laughs> so the last on, 100 Railer. seconds here of the first half. Railers down nine, 23-14. Move the ball, get a shot. I don't care if it takes a minute 30. Get a good look. Nelson working <coughs> against Rossi. Nelson. On the dribble, cleared himself. In the lane, ball tipped around. Lundin comes out with a steal oh. for Morton. An ill-advised pass, trying to pass through the middle of a triangle zone. Hayden, Gesner oh. tipped it away from oh. behind. Oh. Over to Nelson. Gesner's going to take it in, and he lost it. Out of bounds. Railers had the turnover they were looking for, just couldn't handle the pass. 108. Left in the first half. Morton up by nine. Lincoln's two leading scorers, Jordan Nelson and Nathaniel Smith, held to a total of two free throws in this first half. Knocked out of bounds, last touch by Jordan. Credit Morton's defense. They've yeah. taken Smitty and uh, Nathaniel away. Yeah, yeah, and really, the away. First, really the first triangle on two we've seen, and it is a hard defense uh, to, to play against. You, you, you just don't practice it a lot. Yep. 
Well, we got to trust our coaching staff is going to make some adjustments at halftime. They know what to do. We saw it from Marshall in 06 in the state tournament. And unfortunately there, the same thing happened. We couldn't find a way to get a shot. Lundin, 35 seconds back to Rossi. Swings it over to Swinford, back to Lundin. Yeah, if you're Morton, you got to believe you're going to hold for one here. Sure you are. Best case you go up 12, worst case you go up 9. Got to watch Bisping floating along back ah. there by himself. Down to 20 seconds. Morton up by 9. You know, the other thing, Morton's only committed two fouls. Only been called for two fouls. Rossi <laughs> makes a move. Had it knocked away by Gesner, but goes right to Swinford. Down ah. to 10. Swinford back in the dribble out. Flips it over left side to Hayden. Hayden's going to drive in. Flips it over to Swinford. Now he's going to make a move with three, with two, just inside the lane. That's no good. Rebound Van Hook, and our first half is over. At the end of the first half, Morton in control of this one so far. It is Morton 23, Lincoln 14. We'll be back with our halftime in three minutes. You're listening to Lincoln Railer Basketball. <laughs> 